Hey everyone, we're a tow couple and I'm Tom, the driver. And I'm Bunny and I'm clueless. You are clueless. How are you clueless? <laughs> I, do, I don't know what we're talking about today. We're talking about videos versus still pictures. Oh yeah. See? I'm clueless. <laughs> I live with this. <laughs> but I love her. She's so pretty. <laughs> Alright, so a uh, couple things that people mentioned to us along the way and we have followed up um some drivers when they drop off or pick up they like to walk around the unit and with their phone and just do a video walk around we personally like to take 50 60 pictures <laughs> we literally take a picture we want to see sky below above it and mm -hmm. sky below it yep. and we start and we take 45 degree angle pictures of all the corners and flat pictures all the way around. But we literally take a picture and we take one step to the right. We just literally walk the whole unit all the way around in a, what? You take one step, I take two. Okay. <laughs> so in a, what would that be, counterclockwise? But that's just our way of doing it. I yeah. just start on the driver's side. And I take pictures of the front, then I start with the 45 degree angle, but I take all kinds of pictures of the front, the front cap high, the front cap low, front cap at an angle, the rock garden angle. I even take pictures of the way I hook it up with my load bars, uh, tie straps on the battery and the propane tanks. That way, if anyone said anything down the road, I have proof of how I pulled that unit out. Right, of and exactly, and there is a, and because of that, there is a method to our madness. Yes. So when I take pictures of all that, then I start and I take picture of the forty-five degree angle of the front cap, front, the whole front, top to bottom. Then I go flat. I take pictures and I go one step, one step, and I just, and then when I get to the wheels, I take a picture uh, where the wheels are half cut off because that's where I've been taking pictures. And then I step back a foot, take pictures of the with the wheels, and then I go back to all the way around the unit. When I get to the back corner, I take a picture of a 45 degree angle. And then on the back, I get it as close as possible where I can see sky and below. And I take three pictures. I take one on one half, the driver's half, one on the passenger half. And then I go back far enough where I can take a picture of the whole back. Right. Why we take so many pictures and so close up is because the closer you can get the better you can zoom in yes and we've had to, we've had to pull out our pictures before in the past yes we had um little look like little screw holes in the back of the trailer when we delivered it and we were able to pull up a pre-trip picture yeah that had, I mean, you couldn't see it as well on the pre-trip because we didn't see it in the pre-trip, but, and it was a little darker mm -hmm. during the pre-trip, but because I was so close, you could clearly see it was in the same exact right, location. Right. And we had another issue with one in um, Washington where we delivered, and it was clearly manufacturing, but yes, it was there before we delivered, and... Or before we even hooked up. So therefore, we had our butts covered. Yes. So we uh, we talked to the claims department at our current company. Our other company, we never even talked about it because we were required to take pictures in the app. We, we, their video was never a discussion. No. So at our current company, it, it's a coin toss if you talk to a driver if they do video or picture. And the claims person that we absolutely adored, she tells us, they don't, uh, the, the video is acceptable. You could do video, you could do pictures. She goes, the problem with the video is, unless that claims person can stop it and pause it right at the right exact time where it's not blurry and they can clearly see the imperfection or the damage or whatever before you took it out of there and after you showed up. Yep. It could, as she said, it could be driver's damage if they can't pause it. And she recommended, she goes, you could do a video and pictures. She goes, that would probably be fine. She goes, but if you're going to do one or the other, she said, always do pictures. 
and she's seen the way we do pictures. She goes, you guys will always be covered because you guys just overkill everything. These cameras have so much memory on them and it's so quick to just take a picture after picture after picture that you just got to make sure your phone is charged. Right. <laughs> hey, now. I had to take Bunny's post-trip pictures. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> because her phone died in the motorhome. So I had to take I, her picture. I was running my ways and I wasn't plugged in. So make sure your phone is charged. I had to throw that throw that out there. See? Clueless. Yeah. <laughs> and um, definitely take a lot of pictures. The more pictures, the close-up, the better. If you have imperfections... You're going to already take those pictures and send them to claims. So you're going to take close-up pictures as well as distant geographical area on the trailer. Right. But you definitely want to kind of make sure that you have pictures before and after your delivery. So that way, later on down the line, if they say there was driver damage, you can say, nope, you know what? It was here when I picked it up and it was still there. Or these are the pictures that I have when I delivered it, and there was no, no, nothing, nothing there. Because there mir wasn't a miraculously things have happened. Yeah, when it's been sitting on their lot, they have for three months, a year, depending on the company. Our current company is three months. Our previous company was a year. Yes. Come on, things we have a, a, a few minutes to however much time we could pre-trip it to find the stuff. These dealerships have a full year. Come well, on. Well, and the, and the fact is we were talking to one dealer one time, and they said that they have a hard time keeping people at their dealer because they are 100% responsible for any damage that they do to a to a unit. So, therefore, if they're they gonna blame us. Yeah, if they accidentally back into a trailer, they're going to go, they're oh, gonna, oh, you guys didn't notice it when you checked it in? Yeah. Like some companies, they have actually four people that go through the check-in process. When you bring it in there, that person is just checking you in. They're t some of them take an hour and a half. Some take five seconds. It, it doesn't matter. And then it goes usually into, say, a uh, service. Mm -hmm. And then they do, uh, they, they're checking the holding tanks, all the everything. And then when it goes, it goes into storage and then it goes onto the lot. Now the salesmen are checking out their product, right. getting ready to sell it. They want to make sure that when they walk a customer in there, everything is flawless. And the final is that customer. And you better bet you they're going to try to scrutinize every, they're going to squeeze a drip out of a lemon. And they're going to, it you get could money come too. back on the driver. Right, right. So just definitely. I'm not trying to make you paranoid. Definitely a little bit of CYA. Right. So with that said, just um, take a lot of pictures. People ask me, how long do you keep pictures for? I keep them forever. Yeah. I got a five terabyte hard drive and I download them from my phone and I, I have my picture folder and I, I make a folder in the picture folder called BOL and then I have my BOL and I have pickup and drop off. So all my pre-trip pictures go into the pickup folder and all my post-trip pictures go, well I call them pre-trip, post-trip and then I keep them in there. That way in three months, if they call me and say, hey, you got driver damage, so we're going to take out $500, I am going to fight it tooth and nail. Right. You better bet you I'm going to fight it. So, I, I mean, if I lose, I lose, but I'm going to pull up every picture, and they better be able to show me where I did it because yeah. I'm going to be able to show them where I didn't do it. Right. You know, especially like um, a lot of these ones that we have, General RV, some of these drops are 24. Five seconds. No. Oh, no, 24 hours. 24 hours. So you better damn well bet that if we're dropping at 2 in the morning and no one's there, we're taking all kinds of pictures. Yeah, sure that and that's, that's another thing. we got to find good lighting because if you're dropping at midnight, 2 in the morning, those parking lots aren't the best lit. <laughs> so we, what we do on that instance, someone's going to say, well, what do you do on that instance? We'll find a good light. Usually it's in the front of the building because yeah. that's where they're going to have their cameras and they want a good picture of the person breaking in. And we'll pull the unit right up there and we'll take all the pictures 
using as much of their lighting as possible. But I'm also going to take pictures with their background yep. to prove that trainer was in their parking lot. Not at some Walmart or something down right. the street. <laughs> right. Where you just felt like dropping it. Right. Well, because, well, no, because then they could say, well, you could have taken those pictures yeah. five minutes after you picked it up when you dam before you damaged it. Good so point. Yeah. I want to make sure we see their sign in the background, their parking lot, other trailers, something to prove I was there. That you and the, it. the photos are time stamped. Yes. So with that, but again, it doesn't mean nothing because when you do the 24 hour drop, you're not checking the clock. You're putting your paperwork in the unit and your keys in the hot water heater and just dropping it and going. I don't even know what would happen if the unit got stolen. I don't know. A little sketchy, but... A little sketchy. Hey, they must have good insurance. They might. Well, <laughs> could, could it come back on us? I don't know. I don't know. See, that's just that. I've never asked. It's a learn-as-you-go business. But you can't drop a motorized unit. Those no. have to be checked in. Right. All right. So, with that said, pictures over video is the way we do it. Do it however you want to do it. We're just trying to help you succeed and after talking to claims, they're telling us to do pictures over video. Yes, so. absolutely. All right, but do it however you want. And until next time. We'll see you down the road. We'll see you down the road.